I matched Christia Freeland's flight records to her government funded limo records, I did it completely on a hunch and now I think I've uncovered a bit of a scandal. You know, sometimes I wouldn't even think to look for things except for the fact that liberals like to brag and when liberals brag, they're normally deflecting from their own bad behavior and hiding what a bunch of hypocrites they are. Just like when they won't shut up about what a bunch of feminists they are or how racist normal Canadians are while they're the ones either wearing blackface or defending the wearer of blackface or groping women while defending the groper of women. And lately, it seems that former foreign affairs minister, now deputy prime minister, Christia Freeland, well, she won't shut up about the fact that she always rides a bike to work because you know what? She's just a better environmentalist than you or me. Recently in this Financial Times article, Freeland reiterated her lifestyle of prolific bike riding. Freeland also stresses that she does not drive a car. She is often spotted on her bike in Toronto. Now, in 2016, she tweeted out this series of photos of her biking in January, which does not look at all like biking in January where I'm from. But you know what? Fair enough. Things are different all over. And last summer in August, one of the official photographers for the prime minister's office, and I say one of the official photographers because I know that prime minister... Trudeau has one just for himself, a man named Adam Scotty. However, this guy, Alex Tetro, tweeted this. Minister of Foreign Affairs Christia Freeland goes to work on a bike every day, even when that work is to meet international delegates like Heiko Maas from Germany, who also shares that passion. That's how it's done. Oh, Mr. Tetro, is that really how it's done? It seems a little too braggy to me to be authentic. How about you? So... You know what we did? Because we are skeptics of the government instead of repeaters of the government, we pulled Freeland's official mileage records for her government limo. And I'll say limo here, but I also mean government funded SUV or town car. There are some crazy mileage numbers in here. There are probably truckers who put on less mileage than Ms. Always Bike Rides. Some of the mileage totals were for five and 600 kilometers in a day. Okay, that sounds kind of easy to do out here in God's country where everything is so far apart. I'm an 800 kilometer round trip to Calgary, but Freeland's main haunts are what I like to call the taxpayer misery trifecta, Ottawa, Montreal, Toronto. So of course, I got suspicious. I started looking at only the big number kilometer days for Freeland's taxpayer funded limo between August 2017 and June 2019. And on a hunch, I started comparing them with her flight records. And I found out that Christia Freeland has been riding dirty. This is going to blow your mind. I double and triple checked everything because I sort of couldn't believe what I was seeing for myself. Things are a little backwards in these access to information documents. But if we are going to go through this in chronological order, we have to start on page 51 and go backwards. June 2017 includes a 495 kilometer trip in the limo, June 12th. On that very same day, Freeland's flight records indicate that she flew to Montreal to participate in the 2017 Conference of Montreal. Now that's a roughly 400 kilometer round trip in a car, Ottawa to Montreal and back. Meaning the limo drove all the way to Montreal empty to drive Freeland around Montreal only to drive back empty while she flew both ways and charged you for both the limo and the flight. June 21st, 2017, the same page, we have a 545 kilometer trip in the limo. I matched that to Freeland's flight records and she doesn't have anything happening that day. However, the previous day she arrived back from a ministerial trip to Cancun and a trip from her riding to Ottawa is about 450 kilometers. July 1st, 2017, page 49, we have a 360 kilometer trip. And I'll give her a pass here because she's probably busy driving around her riding on Canada Day. Okay, on page 47, August 2017, we have a 575 kilometer trip, August 28th. According to Freeland's flight record, she went to Montreal to attend government meetings. So again, she flew to Montreal and had the limo follow her to drive her around in Montreal and then the limo came back empty while she flew home. October 15th, 2017, page 45. 
Freeland's limo has a 490 kilometer trip on it, but she has no flights that day. However, that's just a little over the distance from her home riding in Toronto to Ottawa, where the next day she flew to Washington. Let's move ahead to 2018. Page 37, January 2018, we have a 510 kilometer trip in the limo January 19th. I've got nothing on her flight list. Three days later, she leaves for Davos. Again, the trip back to her home riding from Ottawa is about 450 kilometers. Then we have a 365 kilometer trip in the limo on January 29th, 2018. I matched that up to Freeland's flight records and guess what? She's back in Montreal for NAFTA meetings. Meaning again, the limo made the about 400 kilometer round trip to Montreal to cart Freeland around coming back empty and going there empty while Freeland flew both ways and charged you for both. Let's jump ahead to May 2018 on page 29. May 31st, 2018, we've got a 330 kilometer trip in the limo. God knows what Freeland was doing, but the day before she was in Washington for NAFTA negotiations. Okay, let's move ahead to June 2018. We're on page 27 now. June 20th, we have a limo ride for 520 kilometers. Freeland doesn't have any airline travel booked for June 20th, 2018. However, we do know that it is a roughly 450 trip, no stopping from her home riding to Ottawa. We're going to skip ahead now to October 2018, page 19. October 1st includes a trip for 430 kilometers. We don't have any flights for Freeland on that day, but her flight schedule puts her back home in Toronto on September 30th. She would normally have to be back at work in Ottawa on October 1st, which was a Monday, because the House of Commons would be sitting on a Monday, which means the limo likely drove her to Ottawa from her home riding. The kilometers match up nearly perfectly. It looks like Freeland's using the government limo instead of hopping on a commercial flight. October 4th, we have a 510 kilometer trip in the limo and guess what? The very same day Freeland was in meetings in Montreal and we know she flew there. Again, the distance from Ottawa to Montreal, it's roughly 400 kilometer round trip, no stopping. And of course, carting Freeland around for two days would bring us up to a little over 500 kilometers. Again, meaning the limo went there empty, drove Freeland around, and then came back empty the next day while she flew both ways and charged you for both. We also have a 605 kilometer trip on October 24th. I checked the flight logs and at the very same time, Freeland was on another trip to Montreal. So she did the same thing again. She brought in the limo from Ottawa empty, used it to drive herself around in Montreal, and then sent it home empty while she flew both ways and charged you for both. On November 5th, 2018, that's page 17, it appears as though we've got a one-way trip in the limo for 310 kilometers. Now Freeland on that very same day, according to her flight records and expenses, is back in Montreal for joint ministerial meetings. We know she flew there. And that one-way trip in the limo, well, it becomes a two-way trip when we look at November 6th. We can see the limo coming home. Do you see that? Another 270 kilometers on the odometer on November 6th. So once again, we know Freeland flew to Montreal and back for business. But she had her limo drive up empty, drive her around while she's there, and then drive back empty while she flew there and back and charged you for both trips. Let's jump ahead to 2019. January 2019, page 13, we've got back-to-back -back trips. There is a 360 kilometer trip on the 15th and a 675 kilometer trip in the limo on January 16th. Freeland is in Montreal on the 15th and 16th, according to her flight records. So again, the limo drove up there empty, this time probably from Toronto, ferries her around, and then drove back to Ottawa empty. And we know she didn't come back in the limo because on the very same day, the 16th, she then hopped a flight to Sherbrooke from Montreal for a Liberal cabinet retreat. Now let's look at, I don't know, some actual bike weather months of 2019, page 7, April 2019, a 775-kilometer trip on April 12th. That day, according to Freeland's flight records, she was at a NAFTA meeting in Drummondville, Quebec, and then at a public event in Montreal. So again, Freeland flew 
while having her limo drive all the way there empty, drive her around, and then come back empty. Now, June 2019, surely it is bike weather, especially since one of the official photographers for the PMO says Freeland always rides her bike. So let's check out those June mileage numbers, starting on page three. There's one day the car drove 600 kilometers. That was June 10th, with nine more days that month over 100 kilometers. Actually, only one day was under 100 kilometers. June 10th, Freeland was in Montreal that day for the Conference of Montreal. She took a flight there. So again, the limo must have left Ottawa to go to Montreal to ferry Freeland around and then drove all the way back empty and she flew home and charged you for both. Now, I don't understand why Freeland couldn't, at the very least, just get herself a fancy Uber in each one of the cities that she's flown to. I guess when it's not your money to worry about, then why worry, right? Freeland is not the bike riding environmentalist she claims to be. She's a fraud. She's certainly not the down home Ukrainian Alberta girl transplanted to Toronto either that the media loves to paint her as. Freeland is just your run of the mill, out of touch, spoiled politician from the depths of the pits of Laurentia. And she's willing to spare herself no luxury, nor any carbon emission while taxing your minivan because the liberals say we're in some sort of climate emergency. For Rebel News, I'm Sheila Gunn-Reed. Hey, have you heard Rebel News is going on a cruise? We're leaving July 4th and we are going to Alaska to get all the details and to see the amazing inside of the boat. Go to rebelnewscruise.com.